This abandoned house stood here for 116 years, but it only took a few minutes for crews to demolish it. So are you happy to see it go? I am. I am very happy. J.D. Hall watched it come down from his home across the street. He actually rented this house when he first came to Des Moines. It doesn't have any great memories. It was just a little house to live in. But the owner died and his son moved away, and the house became an eyesore. My worry has been that kids will, will go over there playing, fall through the floor, and nobody will know it. Yeah, it's a problem. We board up a lot of houses. Sue Ann Donovan is thrilled to see it come down. It's just one of hundreds of nuisance houses scattered across the city. We've been behind. Now we can get caught up and get ahead of it. Des Moines only had a $100,000 budget to tear down about 10 homes a year. Now the budget is $1 million a year thanks to the new local option sales tax. That means the city can demolish 100 abandoned homes a year. It's so exciting to see all of the work that we do to get these into the court system, get a court order, and then actually be able to do something with them and get them down and out of the neighborhoods. It was very exciting. Donovan says clearing the blighted homes will raise property values. No one wants to fix up their homes when they're next door to an abandoned one. Just ask J.D. Hall. It went up piece by piece. Now it comes down in whole sections.